hi guys this is ca from igi2 in this video i'll be showing you how to set up a dedicated server for igi2 to do so you have to perform four tasks as listed on the screen number one is to get your ip address to do this you have right uh, click on your st start button and click on run then type cmd and then ok or enter after you hit enter it will bring you this uh, here you will have to type ip config without any dashes as i am typing ip config as you can here are several options come here is connection specifics dns suffix ip address subnet mask default gateway you are going to copy your default gateway to do this right click and hit mark and then select this and right click again to copy this and now you go to your browser and here paste it so after pasting it uh, hit enter and go and here it asks for a username and password type admin for username and the same for the password admin and admin admin as password and then again for password and username and uh, password are admin then hit login here you can get your details of your modems but I'm going to advance setting if you have any other <coughs> router or any other companies it will show other options here instead of this but on this I will be sure I'm going to show you uh, here I'm going to click on advanced settings So I want to enter advanced setup. And I have an NAT. This is meant for uploading data. So you can see port forward instead of this option for, for forwarding and hit forwarding and then virtual servers. And here click on add and custom service then type the name as igi2 cover strike over strike and here you have to type your ip address to do the open that uh, ip config window and here is your ip address and just right click mark and copy that and paste it here here type external port start keep in mind that it should be 26001 and end should be 26015 and this protocol should be UDP because it means for uploading we have to start up a server so you are gonna click on apply as you can see this says the same port have already been mapped so I cannot do this but you will not get this message if you have entered okay so once you've done this okay get to the list get your IP address this is done and uh, configuring modem done now configure network files okay if you have any other modem you can go to portforward.com portforward.com and here it provides lot help about port forwarding uh, port forward oops this is not Port, I think this is port forwarding. Port forwarding.com. So when you 
open this oh what the hell yeah okay you can simply go to google <laughs> i forgot the website and just type in google type in port forward port forward portforward.com port forward and here it will this is portforward.com okay so it will bring you to the page this page can take some time to load up because it uses javascript and other services so uh, i'm going to click on close here it was so you are going to click on routers okay or here you can select your router company name the company name of your manufacturer of your modem and and then you are going to select your modem so this can help you so here are we have done get get our IP address we have done this and configure your modem for forwarding we have also done this now we have to configure the network file and other files so these files are used as information that your uh, it is uh, as your server name server password and server playlist and all the stuff the, this is kept in a file which I will show you just go to the directory you have installed your <coughs> your IJ2 so here I have it so here is a network config okay when you open this this is the side uh, here you can type in server name I uh, as my server name is positive energy PK and our con password should be IJ2 and port should be this port local SVS this is known as local server port is a 26001 and local port is 26015 if your is not then configure it to 26015 here is the max player list and all the stuff and here are the maps you want to activate this is the command line and low money start low money cap and this is all the stuff here so here is objective time bomb time all the stuff for your server all the information i have already done this so now I have done the configuring network files done now create a shortcut shortcut to run server so to do this right click on it and create shortcut then go to properties and I will uh, not remember then here is the code after these inverted commas you should give a space and then type server dedicated server server Dedicated server dedicated level zero three and port port twenty six zero zero one space 
window window and you can now save it click on ok so what happens when you run this when you run this a box appears as black but the game doesn't run this means that your server is running to check it uh, open your game and uh, scan for uh, click on search the internet button on the main IGI2 multiplayer tab and uh, I'm not going to do that right now because I don't have a good recorder so this could make it difficult but uh, you can do mm, several you can search on the internet well as you search server for to play to play so simply click on search the internet and your server should be in the list and on the left side very left side of your server name it should be a little d which means that your server is dedicated if not there then click on search the lan and it should be here if it is not then then you should know that your server isn't working okay i think that i may i might have helped something i'll give a proof when I get a good recorder for IJ2 so thanks for watching